next weekend. Um, it's a very cold Monday here with me, but before we go to start with a lesson on factors of production, like normally, let's just start to greet each other because I can see you're quite very quiet in the chat group. Right, people, as I said, today's lesson is about factors of production. Um, we will work through the lesson and then at the end of the lesson, I'm going to remind you again about the assessment. Okay, so then we will talk about that again. Um, I just want to say, before we go to start, um, the lesson of today is not so long because of two things. I first want to actually give you some time that you can start to prepare yourself for tomorrow for the assessment. And then the other thing is, they've just told us about half an hour ago that we might have some power failure from half past. Okay, so let's see how far are we getting. All right, like you see in the table of contents, it's about the factors of production we're going to do. And then you will see there, I'm going to indicate to you, first of all, what to do I mean with the factors of production. It says there that the factors of production are the inputs needed for the creation of goods or services. The factors of production include land, labor, entrepreneurship, and capital. All right, and then you will see a picture there. So I can tell you now already, the first question will be, mention the four factors of production, and then you must tell me land, labor, capital, and then entrepreneurship, or you will see there in the um, picture, it is saying enterprise, but please use entrepreneurship. And then with land, they sometimes also talk about natural resources. Okay, so important to know here, what do they mean by factors of production? It's the inputs needed for the creation of goods or services. I mean, you cannot do or make a car if you don't have the equipment to make the car. Um, the car is not going to get to a finished product if you don't have the people or the machines that is working for you in the production process. You cannot make it if you're not going to have some money or somebody must at least come up with a good idea for entrepreneurship to manufacture something. So all four of these factors are important. All four of them are necessary in the production process. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to take each of these production factors and then we're going to um, talk about more detail about them. So if we looked, the first one that you're going to see there is land, land as a factor. Land has a broad definition as a factor of production and can take on various forms from agriculture, land, to commercial real estate, to the resources available from a particular piece of land. Natural resources such as oil and gold can be extracted and refined for human consumption from the land. Cultivation of crops on land by farmers increases its value and utility. Okay, so already land or other word for, for, for the production factor land is natural resources and you cannot produce anything if that is not going to be involved in your production process. The second paragraph there is saying while the land is an essential component of most ventures, its importance can diminish or increase based on industry. For example, a technology company can easily begin operations with zero investment in land, 
On the other hand, the land is the most significant investment for a real estate venture. So it's going to depend on what you're going to produce at the end of the day to see if land or natural resources is going to be important or not. But still, you can say at the end of the day, all four of these production factors are necessary in the production process. Okay, so this is the first one, land or natural resources. Then we're getting to labor as a factor, right? Labor is basically the people that is working or to make the product. Labor refers to the effort expended by an individual to bring a product or service to the market. Again, it can take on various forms. For example, the construction worker at the hotel site is part of labor, as is the waiter who serves guests or the receptionist who enrolls them into the hotel. Right, so if you think, if you're going to build a hotel, right, then the person, the construction worker, all right, at the hotel site, is part of the labor. When the hotel is going to be finished, the lady, the receptionist sitting at the front office there, she is going to be part of the labor. Um, then where the restaurant part is going to be, the waiter there that serves the guests, that person is going to be part of the, the labor. Within the software industry, labor refers to the work done by project managers and developers in building the final product. Even an artist involved in making art, whether it is a painting or a symphony, is considered labor. So again, labor is the second production factor. Basically, what is that? That is the person or the individual that is necessary to bring the product or the service to a, a finished product at the end of the day. Then the third production factor is capital. Capital as a factor. In economics, cap capital typically refers to money. Okay, capital is money. But money is not a factor of production because it is not directly involved in producing a good or a service. Instead, it facilitates the processes used in production by enable entrepreneurs and company owners to purchase capital goods or land or pay wages. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, it's still money that's going to be involved. As a factor of production, capital refers to the purchase of goods made with money in production process. For example, a tractor purchase for farming is capital. Along the same lines, desks and chairs used in office are also capital. And when we have done the financial concepts, capital was one of them. And then you will remember our definition for capital was also, I've told you, yes, of course, capital is money. But it's not only money. It can be goods that is having a value um, that you can, uh, for instance, um, going to sell over a certain time period again and then you can get some money for it for instance so your capital is money but it's not only money it's basically also like assets that is having a value right so that was the third production factor capital the fourth one is entrepreneurship as a factor Entrepreneurship is the secret source that combines all the other factors of production into a product or service for the consumer market. An example of entrepreneurship is the evolution of social media, the home of Facebook Incorporate. Mark Zuckerberg assumed the risk for the success or failure of his social media network when he began allocating time from his daily schedule towards that activity. At the end that he coded the minimum viable product himself, Zuckerberg's labor was the only factor of production. So again, it's going to depend on what type of um, product or item or good or service that you're going to work with. So entrepreneurship is basically the person that's coming up with a good an idea that they can use as a production factor to get a finalized product at the end of the day. Right, so before we're going to continue, 
Okay, so remember, we have taken the four production factors and we have basically um, have said something more in detail about each one of them. So just if we can go back, right, the first one was land as a factor. And remember, land is a factor. Um, as again, it can take various forms, but basically what you can remember, other word for land or a nicer description is natural resources. So it's anything that they need to start a product with. Then we've got labor as a factor. That is your individuals or your people that is involved in the production process. Um, or even if it is a, a finished product, if, let's say it was the hotel that was built, the people that's working there, they are part of the labor. Capital as a factor, is, as we said, is money, but it's not only money. It can also be um, purchase of goods made with money in the production process. So it's something almost like assets that is having a value. And then entrepreneurship is a factor that is basically um, actually the most important part in the production process because this is the entrepreneur that must come up with a very good idea of what he is going to produce. Right, now you see a table in front of you. Um, the first column you will see is saying factors. So there they're going to mention the four production factors again. Okay, you can see the labor, land, capital, entrepreneurship. Then with characteristics, that's not so important, but basically they have put it in one or two words there in short for you what it's all about. So we can just go through that. With labor, they say the physical mental input. So remember, it's a person that's involved. Um, with land, you will see the land and the extracted resources. Remember, we said another um, re resources is another word for land here as a production factor. With capital, uh, they mentioned the fixed and working capital that you have there. So that is not only money, it can be things like the table and the chairs, etc. that's having a value. And entrepreneurship, they refer to the organization of factors is where they need to come up with an idea. And then in the third column, they have given you some examples then. So again, if we just go through them with labor, right, like we said, it's people involved, the workforce with land or natural resources, they refer to the farm and the crops, so from the basics where you're going to start to produce something. With capital, they refer to machinery, but it can be equipment and money. And entrepreneurship, they refer to the person in charge, the manager. But what is very important on this slideshow for me is that last column. It is saying rewards, or we talk about the remuneration of the four production factors. And you need to know this. So what is the reward or the remuneration of labor? And that will be wages or even salaries. So that is if the person is working, what does he get back basically? For land or natural resources, it will be rent. For capital interest, and for entrepreneurship profit. So right, so far the question will be, mention the four production factors, and let's say give an example of each one, and also give the remuneration of each of these factors. So then you need to say, mention the four factors, and especially with the remuneration, you need to say with labor is wages and salaries, with land or natural resources, it's rent, with capital, it's interest, or with entrepreneurship, it's going to be profit. Right, before I get to that slideshow um, that you have noticed then, basically that is the work for today, okay? of the uh, factors of production. So you can see it was in short and sweet, okay? So just to, because you're going to get questions from this slideshow in the assessments that's going to take place, after tomorrow, oh, takes place tomorrow and on Wednesday. So let's just recap on it, right? Important, what is the factors of production? It is the inputs needed for the creation of goods or services. Important, you need to mention for me the four factors, land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. 
then we have taken the four production factors and have done them more in detail okay i've put a lot of things here but again if we can just go to that last large show there they have summarized it for you guys okay so if we go to that one then you can see it in short again what is the four factors uh, basically what the characteristics is that is more the detail part what is the examples of each one and the reward of the, or the remuneration of each of these production factors again i'm telling you the remuneration is very important so remember with land or natural resources it is going to be rent with capital interest with labor wages or salaries and entrepreneurship it's going to be profit right keep it in mind i'm going to put the next slide show on but i'm quickly going to ask you questions okay so i don't want to stick on this slide show um because then you're going to see the answer so i'm going to move to the next one open your chat box as i do now right now and then type in for me who's going to be first what will be the remuneration of labor Let's see if you can remember what will be the rewards or the remuneration of labor. All right, is somebody going to answer? Uh, thank you, Angelina. Yes, it will be wages or salaries. Right, next one. Um, okay, let's do it this way. The remuneration is profit. For which production factor will that be? Okay, so the rewards or the remuneration is profit. And for which production factor will that be? Right, let me go back so you can see there. Okay, look there, the last one there, I said profit is going to be the remuneration. For which production factor will it be? That's going to be entrepreneurship. Right, okay, I can see you struggle with this. So let's just recap again this slideshow. Okay, I'm telling you, you're going to get a question like this. All right, so first of all, I ask the question and then I will answer it. Mention the four production factors, right? Answer is labor, land, or you can say um, natural resources, capital, and entrepreneurship. Then, next question. Mention one example of each of those production factors, right? If we take labor, you can say workforce, or you can say the people that's involved in the production process. With land, you can say the basics that they need to start to produce something, okay, farm and crops, for instance. With capital, you can say machinery, money, equipment. With entrepreneurship, you can say manager or owner then. Right, next question. Mention the remuneration of the four production factors, okay? Then your answer is going to be, Labor, wages or salaries. Land, rent. Capital, interest. And entrepreneurship, profit. All right, so you need to go and study this. All right, and then um, you have noticed now the next slideshow. People, okay. This is an example of one of the posters that I've received. And thank you very much for this. And Angelina, I hope you don't mind that I put yours on. Because that is almost the only one that I still have received up till now. 
people, it can't work like that. This is counting marks, okay? Tomorrow you're going to do an assessment. Are you still not going to send me your things? Because how do you want to get marks at the end of the day? So please, we can't sit here wasting each other's time. So remember, okay, I'm really telling you, okay? Final, final message. Posters, I need it. You need to email it to me. My email address was on the first slide show, but let me quickly put it in the box as well. So you can see it. If you don't have my email address, I will also uh, give you, to you my cell number now. You're also more than welcome to WhatsApp for it for me. So there you have my email address and my cell number. But people, you need to do this. Thank you, Angelina. Beautiful poster, very colorful. I love it. It's very nice. So um, as soon as I'm starting to get the others, I will mark it and then I will let you know what your mark is going to be. But I just want to put an example on so if people are struggling so they can see what you have done, for instance. But perfect, there's nothing wrong with this poster. Right? And then the last thing that i want to talk today about is remember about the assessment okay your assessment is going to take place now tomorrow and to wednesday okay so on thursday we're just going on with normal lessons again i've given this to you last week on friday but again here's the topics for the assessment entrepreneurship accounting concepts so what do I mean by accounting concepts? You need to give me the definition of capital or of what is income or what is expenses. Budgets, transactions, state of net worth, inequality, and then what we have done today, the factors of production. So that is the topics that you need to study. I'm not going to tell you which topics you're going to get tomorrow and which ones you're going to get on Wednesday. You need to know all the topics for both of these days. Again, how it's going to work. Tomorrow, when you're going to join the meeting, you will get the questions on the PowerPoint slide like you're normally going to get it. Okay, You must have paper and pen ready. You're going to write the answers down. And then tomorrow, after you finish, or you will get the whole day tomorrow to email or WhatsApp the answers to me. All right, and then I will mark it, and then you will get some marks, and that will be counting for you guys. So, right, so there you've got it now. Um, please, if you've got any questions about the work of today or about the assessment, please feel free now to ask. Um, I will look out for it in the chat box.